Hi, I'm Carol Klaybeck, and now I'd like to talk to you about home learning and homework helpers. So I've put together a sampling of books to give you um, an example of what you can find on our website. And feel free to email me with any questions or if you're working on a specific topic and you need some help. I'm going to start with the preschool books, just a couple to show you, and then I'll move up. And most of the books I'm going to show you are for elementary and middle school. Um, but this is a really great preschool book, um, nonfiction, telling the time, but it has these fictional characters from the apple tree farm. And we also sell the complete book of farmyard tales, so this is kind of a, a carry on of that story. All of the characters are the same from the farmyard tales book, so if they like that, they'll like this. Lots of kindergarten teachers get this book from us. Um, it has a clock that moves around and it shows the activities going on with the children during different times during the day. Really good concept book to explain time and the passage of time and how to tell time. Um, another preschool book I just want to mention before we get into elementary, the uh, big book of big animals. This is one type of book that we have. We have the big book of bugs, um, big book of ships, big book of trains. We have a lot of big book stories. And what's nice about this is it's nonfiction because it tells all about these different animals. It does it presents it in a way that's very engaging for your child because it has these huge pullouts. And as your child gets older, like a you know five to seven, eight, nine year old reader, they can read the facts about it. It's um got a kind of durable binding. This is a board book, a flexible board book, so a two or three year old won't tear it apart. So it's just a great family book. And see, here's all the animals. Um, these are like jungle and uh, I think this may be African animals. And just really great illustrations. I love the series. You can buy this as a collection or individual books are $14.99. In our collections, when I mention those, you usually get one book free when you buy a collection. So that's a great way to save. This is a beginning level reader. It's, um, this is called Volcanoes. We have about 20 subjects in this line. Um, so we have trains, we have machines, plane, aircraft, um, but then we also have natural science. So this shows, um, this is the black smokers, very simple sentences. There's about um, seven or eight sentences to a page, and uh, it's just great layout. At the end, it shows a glossary of terms and the pictures that go with them. So an early reader, is, this is great. I've sold these to um, kindergartners and up. Um, it is it is an early reader. It's called the Us Born Beginners is how you would find this. So if you just search for beginners, you'll find a whole selection of nonfiction titles. It's also really good to support early reading, especially if you have a reluctant reader that doesn't like fiction. Moving on from there, the discovery books are really for um, probably grade level three and up. Um, if you have an advanced reader, you might be able to introduce it a little before then. And these are, um, this is Bugs, and we have Astronomy, and lots of other um, life science and mechanical topics. So this is the same concept as the beginner book, but it's called Discovery. So if you want this level book, you would search under Discovery. And these books, they're hardbound, um, and they are $8.99 each, or you can buy a collection. And I, I really want to encourage you to look at those collections, especially if you're homeschooling or doing home learning. You can share these with other families as well. Great books, hardback. I want to move into our math books. Early learning math. Now this goes, we have three um, different math dictionaries and encyclopedias, and they sell as a collection. It's called the Complete Math Collection. We also have what we call learning wrap-ups, which are these um, little tools to help with multiplication, addition, subtraction, and more advanced math. This is a great starter book. It's $12.99, and um, it shows the, the early math concepts. They're illustrated, which is nice, so it's a good reference material. Libraries love us for um, reference material because it, it just is it's one of the standards in the industry. So I think you'll be very pleased with what you find in our math and science collections. Um, again, this is $12.99. It is sold in a collection with more advanced books. And it is sold also as a science dictionary and science encyclopedia. So the same type of concept there. I'm showing you the C Inside Math. This is actually not in print anymore, so I'm lucky I have this copy. But the reason I'm showing you this is I'd like for you to do a search if you're looking for nonfiction teaching materials on in, the word inside. Usborn has a number of books. I, I counted about 20 books or more that um, said inside. So we have C Inside, Look Inside, and Peek Inside. Peek Inside is really for 
preschool and then um, look inside is a little more advanced and see inside is our most advanced. So this would go up to, um, you know, 11, 12 year olds would probably even enjoy this. So this just shows, this is math. So it's show, showing all these different math concepts. And then um, each page has about um, 15 of these little pullbacks with more information. So that's why it's called See Inside, Look Inside, and Peek Inside. But these are hardcover books, and this is $12.99. They range in price. I think the Peek Inside are $11.99, and then they go up um, to $14.99. But these are really good. Search for Inside and see what you find. I think you'll be pleased with the math and science. There's one on ancient Egypt, lots of um, even social studies type of thing. You see inside your body, and um, the anatomy is covered as well. And if you search on the website for science, you'll you'll find science with plants, science in the kitchen, science with water, and those have been very popular. And um, I've sold a lot of those into school systems and uh, into libraries as reference material. So this is 50 science things to make and do. This is a great resource for being at home. It gives lots of um, this is a bird feeder and how to attract insects. And here's a foaming monster and just using regular household products to do this. This is $9.99. It's flexible binding. And we have something similar, 30 healthy things to cook and eat. This is a fun one too. It's a great recipe book and it talks about nutritional values. So it's a good um, science and nutrition book. We have a number of language books. Usborn is one of the uh, broadest publishers in terms of foreign language. We do have Spanish titles available. And I'm giving you an example of one of our bilingual readers. Um, we have Mystery Castle and another one called Fantastic Island. So for teaching Spanish, um, this is nice because it shows, it gives uh, these, it's kind of like a Where's Waldo type of book, but it's in Spanish and in English on each page. So you have all these different um, things going on in the picture and they're described with um, their, their appropriate vocabulary in English and in Spanish. And this is $5.99. Um, Usborn is very deep in terms of training other languages and language um, learning support. This is a Spanish book, First Thousand Words of. We have First Thousand Words in Chinese, English, French, Spanish, and we have some sticker books in German. So I would encourage you to look at our um, language helpers. These aren't the only books that we have. We do have some um, other language books. We have some books printed in Spanish. And on to social studies and encyclopedias. I wanted to show you one of our classic encyclopedias. This is Encyclopedia of the Ancient World. And we have a number of encyclopedias about um, ancient times, history. Um, last year, Usborne did a um, whole focus on World War I because it was the um, 100th anniversary of the beginning of World War I. So you'll find anything from sticker books to you know, encyclopedias, um, you know, machines that were used during the war. And, and just the conflict itself. This encyclopedia is 1999. One thing I want to share with you about all of us forms nonfiction titles is they're, they will say IL or IR. IR means internet reference. That means there's a cross reference to more material on the internet. If it's internet linked, IL, that means that us born have cataloged internet links. So for example, is this, this is a Trojan horse. You might be able to go online to one of the internet links and find a diagram of what was inside the Trojan horse. And they've cataloged all that for you so you don't have to do your own searches. You can, or you can use their searches in addition to your own. Um, so this is a great resource. It is a um, paperback binding, but what I would like to tell you is that Usborne guarantees the bindings on our books. If it is defective when you receive it or shortly after receiving it, we will replace it at no charge to you. And then after normal wear and tear, let's, I had someone contact me seven years after purchasing one of these encyclopedias, and we replaced it at half price. So we just want you to be able to use, use the book for the lifetime of your family and be happy with it. I want to mention our illustrated story books. These are fantastic. You've probably seen these at, uh, well, when Borders was in business and at Barnes & Noble, they sold these titles, some of them, not all of them. And um, Usborn has just released new titles. So we have illustrated Greek myths, Norse, Norse myths, <laughs> lots of um, titles that are just hard to find and are just great library materials. And these are great gift books too. So these are um, around $15.99. And this one's illustrated stories of Dickens. And you can kind of see the illustrations and the reading level here.
Um, when you look online, all of our reading levels are under the tab that says specifications. So if you need to know what reading level is suggested, that's the best place to look. In composition, this is my favorite book. It's called Write Your Own Storybook. I, I love this book because it gives ideas about how to write a story. And who doesn't, when, if you're a creative writer or a journal, have problems sometimes thinking about how to compose your story. It talks about the composition of a story, character development. Um, it gives you ideas on writing about a school journal, um, a sports team that you might be on, who, who are the winners, who are the losers, what sport are you playing, who's offense, who's defense. Um, if you go on a, a trip, where are you going, who's going with you, what will you do while you're there, and what are some of the adventures that you'll have. So this is a great book. This is uh, $14.99. It's a great resource for home learning or in addition to um, regular school. And Art Treasury. I, we have a lot of art books. This is not the only one, um, but this is one of my favorites. My um, supervisor sells these into the school system where she lives, and they use it for all their art teachers get this as their one of their resource materials. So this basically just shows different types of art forms. This is showing a collage, fireworks. It has like the famous painting um, by Claude Monet of water lilies, and shows how to make it with different medium. So you can use tissue paper to make the water lilies or pipe cleaners to do the screen. And it's just a really good book. It's called The Art Treasury, and it's $19.99. It is a hardcover. If you have any questions about materials that I can um, answer for you, if you're looking for something specific like um, ancient Egypt or anatomy books, please just email me and let me know, and I'll be happy to help you find the, the book that you're looking for. Thanks so much.